Hey, welcome back to Four Geeks by Geeks, the place where geeks come to geek out. Is is now when we do this tea? I don't know. You tell me. You're dropping the ball today. <laughs> you are all over the place. They want to take a photo with Brit. I didn't want to, I don't know, <laughs> start the thing normally. I was rushed. By who? I, myself and my pizza oven bake that needed 15 extra minutes. Those are all words, be done. correct. Anyway, I'm Bozer. And he's having first world problems. I'm T. And he's being a little bitch about it. <laughs> <laughs> he's so proud of that one. And welcome back to your Monday Night Geek Out session. If this is your first time, pop off in the chat. Let's say you hear you say hi. Or comment below. If yes, you're hear to that. them say hi through Hear chat. them say hi. I, I have every single uh, person in the chat. It like translates. Those captions into my ear all night long. Yours doesn't do that? Nope. It's very loud and quite distracting. That's why it explains all of this because it's not my fault. Right? I mean, we'll, we'll let it slide this time. <laughs> yeah, right. You're going to let it slide every time. <laughs> this is not going to be the last time. Yeah, it's definitely not. But we do this each and every week, Monday night, 8.30 live on Twitch. And then you can always watch it back on YouTube or podcast. And we geek out with a new geek guest every single week. The best people on the internet. Except next week. Life. Except next week. Why? What's next week? We don't have a guest. It's just us. Oh, is, is it already it's our Valentine's episode. Day? I forgot. See, you didn't need to say that out loud, because that means that means we're halfway through the second month of January, which means we'll be a sixth of the way done with 2023. See? Yeah, now you feel bad about pointing that out, don't you? Wow. Exactly. It's going so fast. I don't like it. But anyway, we got to give some shout-outs to everybody here in the chat with us tonight. We've got the, the uh, Brit Stan, Simba, 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 Simba himself. And Alex, as Simba. always, it's Simba, Simba's Simba, 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 Simba. There you go. And one to grow on Simba. We got, is it Shoes and Stella and John and Oceana is here with us. You guys, we don't deserve you. And Sprinkler. And Sprinkler, Sprinkler, Winkler, and Ignatius. The time never slows, he says. They say, she says. I'm just not. Those are the options. Good job, ever bud. again. <laughs> I'm just not using. <laughs> I'm just going to do they for everybody. That's probably safest. And then only the conservative, like, up, stick up their butt ones will be upset. And that's fine. Exactly. We don't want them here anyways. <laughs> we welcome all to FGBG. Except because, if you're a piece of shit. Well, you can have piece of shit values, but still geek out about gun. No, we win. don't accept phobics of any kind. Well, we don't accept phobics. No, but I'm. I'm saying the whole point of this channel is a place that anybody can come geek out about anything because that connects us. This isn't that lovely. We're going to lose half the chat tonight and we haven't even started. I don't think so. I think they know what they expect coming into the first part of the show. I think if we didn't provide this to them, I think they'd be concerned. That's yeah, when we're going to start getting the question like, are they splitting up? That's when the rumors start circulating the internet. Once the banter stops, that's when things have gone down. Mm -hmm. When we are nice to each other and polite, and decent then listen mm. if i don't talk shit to you i don't like you that's how you know if we're friends or not is that As toxic maybe a little bit openly belching i would never do that you can't prove that i was recording no i wasn't um but if you haven't already i know some of you have use the qotd question of the day which is if qotf jesus <laughs> qot fay <laughs> If life was a video game, what would be your go-to cheat code that you would need to use on a daily basis? What is it? What would it be, T? I'm going to steal Brits and say Rosebud. Um. <laughs> so she can't. So she has to scram. <laughs> gotcha. Um, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I thought about this all day, and I don't know... Because, like, my first thought was, like, if I... Because my thought went was, like, if I could see a stat, what would it be? And I'd like to know what my luck is so I could manipulate that properly. But then you're like, oh, what cheat code? And then I thought about it, and I just want to be able to spawn tanks, like, in Grand Theft Auto 3. What Do you remember the cheat code for that? Fuck no. Um, we got some people, like, Sprinkler, use Motherload. Yep, classic. 
the daughter of Rosebud. And did you already tell people what that is? Oh, that's just the Sims, Motherload. That's just how you make money on the Sims games. Motherload and Rosebud. And, and do you remember the one it was like exclamation point I, exclamation point I, and you could just do it forever. And as many as you did, it would give you, I don't know, an extra dollar or something. Don't know that one. I remember my fingers got so good. At, I don't know <laughs> if it was two or three. I don't know. Wait, that's okay. Gotcha. Like, yeah. So it's just like an I inverse I, I inverse I. Um, I would be using the one from... I think it was Pokemon Silver and Gold. There was a glitch. That's not a cheat code. It it was a cheat. It was called a glitch, but I think they wrote it into the programming. And you... Um, basically, you'd put something in your box. Like, you could put an item, or you could even store a Pokemon in Bill's PC. And then... The infinite item glitch? Basically. Then you leave the Pokemon uh, Center... Go to save, and before it finishes saving, shut off your Game Boy. And then when you come back, you'd have two of whatever you put in there. Things you just can't do with games anymore. I know! Now you have to go through and edit code and shit, and I'm like, this is too much work. I'm not a fan of this. Um, I I, I would get a bunch of rare candies and just level myself up, and then I would have to <laughs> go to the gym, or be smarter, or read a book. I would just be better. Every candy. I respect it. I respect it. Um, but I'm sorry, I'm reading. It, it's the repeated rosebud command. Is that what the I exclamation point is? Is that what you're saying, Ignatius? Um, or Big Daddy and Big Mama cheat on the Age of Empires so I can spawn cars with missiles. Ah, it works. It works. That but we works. missed the best one, which was Simba's, and that's just toggle God mode. Oh, see, oh. I was like, I don't know what TGM is, which is why they <laughs> fucking defined it. God, how do you hang around me? Like, that's a serious question. Alcohol. That's it. It tracks. That tracks. But I got to know what our guest thinks tonight. Because if you guys don't know Brit from Let's Get Rolling, then you are about to. And you're going to also fall in love with her just as we have. Um, if you don't know, we've had a lot of great collabs with LGR and she's somebody that we talk to almost daily and I wouldn't have it any other way so please give it up for the one and the only Brit from Let's Get Rolling five dollars came in muted nope nope, nope I wasn't I was not <laughs> muted I faked it because I knew T was going to try to do that you planned this I did Huh. I'm seeing happen, raccoons. I'm seeing applause. Applausos. Hi, friend. One of six raccoons. One I'm going to move raccoons. you again. I'm going to just keep doing this because that way if something comes up, it goes over my face and not yours. Oh. Like all these well, raccoons. Thanks. Raccoons. We love our <laughs> raccoons. <laughs> Hi, Britt. How you doing? I'm great. How are y'all? Fantastic. It's not like I didn't see you like maybe 10 minutes ago when T was burping in my ear. Proof! You can't prove that. Receipts! Receipts! Literally, he said, she said. That does not hold up in a court of law. I, it true. was her ears that were assaulted. So I'm going to give it to her. It's true. Where's Simba? I'd like to know that too. Asking the important questions. Sitting What'd you do with them? It's always the you not, Do you not hear him click clacking away over there? <laughs> clack, 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 clack. <laughs> Writing out a cry for help. How can that pick me up? I don't, I don't know. How can that I pick me up? Microphone. He's, right over here. He's right over here. We share an office. I know, we can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when you go into their streams, they'll talk, realize they both muted themselves so the other could talk. They didn't realize they both muted themselves, and then they go on like three minutes, feels like shit, I was muted. Yep, and I'll always say something funny when my mic is muted. Yep. That's, All the time. That's, that's just how it works. Mm. It I always matter. say something funny when I'm not on stream. And then he gets on stream, man. 
See, I'm more clever in game than in real life. Like if someone <laughs> says something mean, I'm like, yeah, well, yeah. And then like later in the shower, I'll be like, man, I could have come back with that. That would have been so cool. <laughs> <laughs> then you get out of the shower, get dressed, get in the car, drive back and you say it. Oh, I wish. <laughs> Usually it's Thomas. <laughs> then you don't even need to leave the house. You just yell it across the room. From the shower. By then, like, it's over, and it's like, mm, no, it's never. I really want to. Yeah. If you still have a zing, if you still have a one liner left, it's not over. It's never too soon to restart a good fight. Exactly. Two days, two days later. You remember yesterday? How you? Well, have I got a good one? <laughs> it's a real problem in our life. Sky's like, why are we? I thought we were done talking about this. Yeah, but then I remembered something I didn't say at the time that was very important, and I need to say it now because it's still on my brain. You know what? Your face. <laughs> oh! Like... Well, anyway, cool. welcome to Four Geeks by Geeks again. Again. I I like hanging out here. Lord knows why. It's probably because I feel with my kindred spirits. Aww. So I'll pay you later. Okay. How do you get paid? You guys are getting paid? <laughs> when the fuck do we get ice cream? <laughs> um, two very different references there. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Before we get into the glory that is Let's Get Rolling, LGR if you're in the know, what would be the cheat code that you would use every day if life was a video game? So, T stole mine. <laughs> really? And then you don't Sprinkler say. went and stole my other one. <laughs> um, so, there is this cheat thing that Sims has. Um, it's called MC Command Center. And you can run every freaking thing from, like, life skills to, you know, like, killing your enemy to, um, you know, making money. I think that would be MC Command Center would be my cheat code. It's probably the best. What, what do you ask for a genie? More wishes, correct? Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. Thank God we don't have cheat codes because I'm just picturing the utter collapse of society on Earth as we know it. No, it, it would never would have made it this far. It would be the opposite of the purge. Like, yeah. it would just be like, like, like our b billionaires would be like the low end of the scale like so you wouldn't even get to that point it's just gonna be one person like ah big bang didn't happen and then nothing yep erased poof pretty much unless unless what if somebody already did do that for the real origin of the universe and we Correct. just don't remember it's all it. a matrix <gasps> what i'm just an imagination i'm someone's ttrpg <laughs> God, I hope that's not the case because they're fucking assholes. What? I think I'm running your character, T. I fucking they, hope not. You need to get your shit together if that's the case. I haven't learned how to play yet. They didn't choose standard array. They they rolled. <laughs> <laughs> Poorly. <laughs> oh, no rerolls. Eight for intelligence. I like it here. <laughs> well, we're going to hang out tonight with Britt from Let's Get Rolling, and she's going to share all of what they do and all the amazing behind it and then stick around towards the end when I promise 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 cross my heart hope to die we are actually playing the game because I planned it and I'm excited for it um and we're going to do some embarrassing shit based on the roll of the die and you will be able to set the AC for each of us so stick around till the end uh and play our game but until then Britt for those who don't know tell us a little bit about let's get rolling and what you guys geek out about Okay, so Let's Get Ron is um, a bunch of people who sit around and play. Uh, well, we started with D&D, um, but now we're reaching out and branching out a lot thanks to... Fuck you, you wizards. Know, <laughs> yep. A lot thanks to wizards. Um, we're switching to something else. Um, but we basically just a bunch of people who sit around and role play, which is kind of cool, um, especially because uh, we do it all virtually um i don't think we've ever we've never sat at the same table um ever no i've never met the other five no the other four yeah i've never met the other four in person yeah we've never met in person i've got so, so many questions it's okay i so, met bozer and he pretends i didn't 
Listen, so, you can only pull that up once a month. That's not true. <laughs> you just did it last episode. Uh -oh. It still hurts me. Oh, we lost Brit. Come back. There she Hello, is. Hello. Hi. Hello. Um, so Simba and I are married. We've been married almost... We've been married a long time. Yes. <laughs> um, and then Stella and Sakfas know each other in real life. They're friends. Okay. Um, and then Sammy and her roommate Jordan, who once was, um, who still is a part of Let's Get Rolling, but, you know, is taking a hiatus, um, you know, for other reasons. Um, but they were roommates. They still are roommates. Um, and then we have Sprinkler, who is our newest addition to the party. Um, but we've, like... We've never met, like, I've never sat or been in the same area as Stella or Sakfas or Sammy. We just... Be honest, do you think it'd be awkward? No, we're actually <laughs> planning to meet up this summer. Aww, See, I'm the time. opposite. Every time I meet people in real life, I'm like, I'm not who I am on the internet. Oh, See, yeah, now that we're true. in person, I won't make eye contact with you. I will oh, not yeah. make the same jokes I make online. I am a very different person in person. Yeah, no, yeah. I actually have to wear pants different. when I meet you in person, so, you know gonna be a lot different i mean you're lucky i'm not wearing a robe just the robe at this point so that shows how much i respect you as an individual <laughs> well, i'm actually you. wearing <laughs> pants he might belch in your ear but he but will i wore that's pants. his love yeah. language that's his love language exactly see somebody gets me and sprinkler brought up funny enough i've been in the same room as bozer though like, i know small world. the world is so small it's not even funny like sprinkler and i went way back oh 13 years ago and we did theater all out there in the Midwest, cheese country. Oh. Um, and he Wisconsin. was in high school. Were you in high school then, Sprinkler? And we had some, those are some of my favorite summers, the two summers I was out there. Um, so that's just, it's wild. Mm -hmm. It is. We met um, about the beginning of the pandemic um, when everyone mm -hmm. was virtually playing everything uh we met yeah. through a, a a mutual streamer stream and then we started playing among us because that was a big game of the pandemic it everyone, everyone was everyone playing through. among us because it wasn't like a you know had to have skill type of game hand-eye coordination it mm -hmm. just had to, it was a survival game so we all met through we there were all just trying to survive at that point yeah <laughs> um and around that point um simba had just stopped a campaign with some of his other friends that he had been running and he's like you should come play and i was like eh, I and he's like no really we should start a, a campaign with some friends and i'm like but who would be interested like you know, and we kind of did some like feelers out to see who would. And, you know, the first people that reached out were Sammy, um, Sakvas and Stella. Those are like the, like the main pillars of the people we started playing with. So, um, we started a campaign based off Stardew Valley, the video game. Mm -hmm. Um, and that went on for like a year. Um, was this a homebrew? Mm -hmm. Okay. Everything was based off the video game, like before, like the video actions in the video game happened. So we were ancestors of, you know, some of the characters in the video game. The maps were based off the video game. Like it was just super fun. And who was the DM oh. for that? Thomas? Thomas. He's, okay. he's always been the DM. Forever um, the DM. Call him that. That feels gross. Don't say that again. Sorry. Simba, 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 Simba. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, but like it came to my idea that I was like, oh, that would be so cool to do a campaign off of Stardew Valley. And we just took it and ran. Um, and then eventually Thomas put, once we had finished the campaign, Thomas put it on Reddit. He's like, hey, I, we made this up. And that's how we met Sprinkler. He replied to Thomas's Reddit post. In the trenches the of Reddit? In the trenches wow. of Reddit. That could have gone, that could have been a very different so headline story. Bad. I, I, okay, let me preface this. I am not afraid of meeting people on the internet anymore because I met my husband on Omegle. <laughs> <laughs> I will never not laugh. <laughs> Wait, I'm not I, familiar I, with Omegle. So yes, you are. It's like chat roulette. Oh! <laughs> That's where I met Tom, Simba. I'm usually in a gimp suit for that, so I don't really pay attention. <laughs> he can't see. He's can't there, see. but he's just not aware. <laughs> <laughs> no, I met I met him randomly in a chat, and uh, six months later, I bought a plane ticket, and then a year later, we were engaged. So, 
Okay, forget. Let's get rolling. Let's talk about that. <laughs> yeah. And like January marks 10 years of when I flew out to meet him for the first time after meeting him on the internet. God, you're old. So how did you react to seeing him in a gimp suit on Omegle? Actually, we didn't have cams. We didn't video chat for like, I don't know, maybe a week after. That's even so, more dangerous. Yeah. You're just assuming what he was telling you was true. So who called Catfish first to confirm? Oh, I called it after we had met. I was like, uh, listen. <laughs> hey, Neve, I need some help. Time. <laughs> but um, I didn't tell my parents until like three days before we were getting married. I was like, um, I actually met him in a random <laughs> chat room. And I was like, oh. never do that again. I was like, okay, I'll never meet my husband in a chat room ever again. Cool. I thought you That's said cool. you told your parents three days before you were getting married that you were getting married. Oh, no. Where okay. I met him. Okay. Which would I think would probably be easier to digest as a parent. Oh, yeah. Then, oh, I met him on the interwebs. <laughs> Oh yeah, John says, and here I was being impressed that my grandpa, grandpa and step grandpa met via online dating. This beats that by far. But Simba said, "Hey, we video chatted a lot before we actually met." We did. We just pretty much video chatted every day before we met in person. That's but beautiful. And now we so have a kid and run a super cool tw uh, Twitch channel. So. And had you ever played a TTRPG previously to doing this with Simba? Nope. He just, we, I honestly joined to spend more time with him. Oh. And then I became obsessed. Like, my character that's how, was That's super, how we get you. Like, my character, like, my first session, like, my first campaign, her name was Amethyst, and she was a sorcerer who was the daughter of the, uh, basically the wizard in stardew and she was super badass like she like took no shit like did she shit on people's shoes too uh <laughs> that's a different story but there was poop there yeah she there's okay um <laughs> um but yeah like very different than myself like i'm not like a very confrontational person i'm not like a get in your face yell at you about things type of person it was very opposite from who i was so to be able to like kind of jump into that character for a couple yeah. of hours each week was kind of therapeutic especially during the middle of a pandemic when i didn't get to see other people like so um but yeah but we finished that campaign like was it 2021 yeah, we finished it right around Christmas 2021 and we took a break and that's when we decided to start Let's Get Rolling streaming because we really wish that we had recorded our like our, our campaign. We're like, damn, if we could have only recorded this. Can uh, relate. I have no idea what that feels like. None. <laughs> right, T? So... You didn't create then, something for years of your life, and then we did it and didn't save it, and now it's now gone forever. Now it's all over again. <laughs> I'm not naming names, but I'm pretty sure that only happened because somebody didn't feel like editing, but that's a whole nother conversation. Was that me? No. Oh. Well, I also didn't feel like editing all that. I tried. Anyway, we're off topic. <laughs> that was back when we were, like, cutting out every um in awkward silence. And I was like, fuck that. Now we just take the whole thing, copy, paste, internet, done. So do you I mean, save your campaign now? Yes. Yep. We save our campaign. We don't put it on YouTube or anything. We just stream it. And if someone wants to check in, they can check in. They pretty much kind of all intertwine with each other anyway. Um, I think we're eventually going to start, like, but because we're in the middle of changing rule sets, it's like... What are we doing? Are we keeping our characters? Are we not keeping our characters? Is the rule set going to allow us to keep our characters? Because switching from D&D rule set to a new rule set could change a whole lot. So, um, right. we're still on that fence. And we're trying out some... I think we decided we were going to try out three TTRPGs in the next few weeks. Because we're taking like a small break just to kind of mm -hmm. play it out. Um, we've got Dungeon World, which is a Powered by the Apocalypse um, rule set. Okay. Um, we've got so this little looser gooser. <laughs> yeah, and it's a, it's basically D and D without D and D, if that makes sense. Without like, the strict guidelines, have you played that T? 
I have not, but it's quite literally, it's directly equivalent it's basically to Monster 2D6. of the Week. Oh, okay. It's 2D6. It's just so, the fantasy version of Monster of the Week. And City of Mist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Pretty much. Um, we're, we're not keeping it as a, a choice, but we're doing it anyway, is we're doing Thirsty Sword Lesbians, which I'm nice. actually going to DM. I'm going to DM to give Thomas a break and to kind of try my hand at, you know, DMing. Um, I'm not that witty, but I feel like maybe during D&D &D I could become that way. Yeah, um, yeah I think you so. are. And, uh, you already I, got oh, called I'm a DMing. sassy little bitch not too long ago, so... <laughs> I'm DMing our next campaign, and I've never done a full mm. campaign either. But I that's kinda, so exciting. I kind of feel like once we get in there, Britt, we're gonna like figure it out and own I our shit. I feel so you too. Know? I feel so too. Like sometimes when Thomas is like comes up with names or like they look like this on the fly, I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do that. But at the same time, I'm like, Cantina13.com, <laughs> which we just actually <laughs> uh, subscribe to their Patreon. Um, nice, but, <laughs> um, because. Who knows we might need it so plus they're awesome guys so but that's we already all knew that um but i don't know i want to try my hand at dming and then um we're gonna do pathfinder um we're gonna try that out Classic. It's, we know that it's a little bit more complicated so that's mm -hmm. what we're kind of worried about is trying to get to know rules again a because, lot more complicated yeah that and we're constantly asking is it now like do i roll a d20 or what do i roll so like even after playing for almost three years like <laughs> so it's like do we oh, really want to get into i'm not the only slow learner here <laughs> no i mean i i sleep with the dm and i still have a million questions so you know but um, does he like do like some dirty DM pillow talk? This got no. weird. Like, wow, you just rolled a D twenty, or you no. just? I would no, I would laugh in his face. I would openly laugh in this man's face. I think that's a good skit, Bozer. D twenty yes. for seduction. Did you write it down? Write it down. I'm, I'm writing that down. down. Perfect. I think I think Caitlin will justify me getting in your guys' bed to uh just make this skit happen. Maybe she could be part of the skit. Then I'm gonna draw a line on that one. <laughs> I we're read weird the things. <laughs> we're getting into very weird OnlyFan territory at this point. I don't know um, why Br it was bound it to happen. It was bound to bring. It was bound to happen. Well, let's I'm rewind. Here. Let's rewind the clock a little bit. So, mm -hmm. take us back to you were in your. Did you guys met in a like a chat of somebody's stream? Uh, so we all had a mutual friend that streamed, and we okay. would all, and so we were all in the Discord. And oh, okay. Because so, talk is so chaotic sometimes in the chat. I was like, how did you guys plan this whole thing from the chat of a stream? Oh, but so the Discord. We we knew that other people were interested. I'm like, because I kind of put out feelers, and they're like, yeah, I'm interested, and. Let's get OnlyFans the best. <laughs> um, but like, we were like, who's interested? And, in, you know, these three people are like, me, let's play. Um, we played every day, or not every day, every week for an entire year. That's which, crazy. Yeah. I mean, we took weeks off and stuff, but like, sure. you know, seeing, like, having a constant group of people get together. And now we're going on year three. Like, that's wild. That's why, like, because I hear so many people are like, I don't have constant players. Like, no one wants to, you know, show, like, I get maybe three months out of people and then we're gone. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't have that problem. Like, can't relate. Oh. And I don't want to be like, I don't. Like, because everyone's excited to show up. I hope so. so. I'm, not, I'm not trying to put words in their mouth, but... Yeah, they're hanging out in this Twitch stream because they don't want to be there with you. <laughs> if they are putting up with us, then they actually genuinely want to be around you. I mean, they get to put up with me and my sassy D and D character every week. So, but do you um, think that you just got lucky by like the roll of a D twenty? You found a great group, or are you? Is there something that like if somebody else was wanting to do the same thing but nervous, how? Is there any sort of advice that you could give to somebody that was trying to start a virtual game with a community somewhere? Um, honestly, because the thing was like, we were, we were acquaintances before we started. Mm -hmm. Like we would hang out in games and stuff, but it wasn't like, you know, we were best friends. Right. Like it wasn't like that 
before like but now like we're in a discord together because we run a channel and we talk every day so pretty much they're our best friends like it's just grown into this thing um like find people that you like spending time with like if you can't see yourself spending three hours a week together in high intensity situations like and what i mean even though it is game like they're high intensity situations if you can't handle that with these people then maybe these aren't the people you want to play with sorry bozer that's why we kept city of miss at two hours it's yeah. threshold level i don't care yeah. if we're mid battle this episode's done yeah it's <laughs> like your intensity level and like even like just last week like our two of our characters had like this pretty intense like yelling match like nice. and the end of the thing it's like we're still we're, we're still friends like you gotta like at the end of it you can't be like i'm mad at you like my character's mad at your character so we're mad like you can't bring that home like like yeah simba <laughs> 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 it never leaves home. That's how you can't bring it home. I've definitely unintentionally, like if I'm mad at a character, get out of here. Then I've held that yeah. grudge against him for at least a couple days, and then sent yeah. him a message later. Yeah, I mean, like, like if you if you really want a group, like you have got to have an open communication with the people you play with. If there's not an open door where you can be like, hey, my character's mad at you, but I'm not mad at you. Mm -hmm. You can't. <laughs> oh, Sockfuzz so. has, makes a good point. Also, sometimes you just got to ignore the fact the DM is wrong and move on. Yeah. Thomas is <laughs> nope. not always right. Incorrect. Love him dearly. No. Nope. Love him dearly. Isn't that rule zero? Treatment. The DM is always correct. <laughs> <laughs> Crickets. <laughs> Well, I got your back, Sam, but don't worry, buddy. I don't get special treatment. Dis despite me giving the eye, I don't get special treatment. Yeah. You're really going to sit here and tell me he's never fudged a roll for you? Nope. Nope. He, that he told you of. T fudges rolls for me all the time. Just doesn't tell me about it. I do tell him about the wacky ideas that um, I want to do in session. See if he's okay with it. I'm like, uh, I'm, my character's planning on doing this this session, just to let you know, um, in case you have anything else planned. That gives him time to plan. What? Is that what you're supposed to do? Is that the polite thing? Um, I mean, depends on the DM, I guess. <laughs> T, is that what you would like me to do? No. Okay. I like to do it on the fly. Because <laughs> I don't have to, I haven't thought about it. Ahead of time. I can't even get you to fucking come up with a one character fact. I've a week out. Lots, but they're not all gonna be deep. But now they will. They don't have to be deep. Two twenty-five game. We got the books, so and now I can't. So then, there they are. Sorry, we're just taking over your episode with last guest. He gets two weeks. You can only get this one. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, but he doesn't have merch like you do. I made that merch. You did. did. Sky's wearing that at the moment. Really? I love Sky. She's okay. <laughs> and you know what else you made? This. Literally just out of the goodness of her heart. And cause she got bored one day. She's like, I'm going to sketch the two best friends that anyone could have. Yep. Yep. yep and here yep. they are. I know we look kind of small and emote, but it's on our Instagram and they're in Instagram, and we're gonna have a poster. We're gonna have some big stuff. Going Thank you. Somewhere. Yeah. Along with a bird sucks poster. Somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we're just gonna have an, a, a little shrine to ourselves, T. Yeah. I mean, I mean, why not? It's your Listen, office. if anybody makes goes out of their way to make fan art, it's going on the wall. It's just as simple Got as it. that. Required. I mean, if I had fan art, it'd go on my wall. Exactly. I have an ego. If it's going to get stroked, I'm going to appreciate it and look at it often. It's the only way I'm going to feel good about myself. Ayo. So running, <laughs> so running a completely virtual campaign, mm -hmm. and yes, everybody's awesome, but what are you guys doing um, in-game or out-of-game that's creating the synergy that 
that like created the connection that you guys now have. Everybody's sleeping with the DM. Everybody <laughs> <laughs> that ever met in person because everybody wears masks. Yep. Um, I don't know what it is. Does it get much closer I, than that? I think we're all so very different that it just works. We're all very different. We're all in different places in our life. Like, um, we're all in different states, except for Thomas and I and Stella and Sakvas. We're all in different states. We're all doing different things. We're mm -hmm. all just all doing different things that like stepping out of our daily life and sitting down at a table to do something totally different just keeps keeps wanting to play, keeps wanting to do more. Like I get Great sad. Community. Yeah. I get sad at 1030 when I'm like, <sighs> session's ending soon. I have to go back to reality. I have to go back to like, you know. Damn, we just took away their whole session today. We ruined everybody's moods. <laughs> oh, that's why they're all free. <laughs> I, forget, I forgot you guys usually stream right now. So sorry. Yeah, that's no big deal. Like I said, we're taking a small hiatus. We're actually changing days, changing a lot of things. Rule sets, whatever. It's for us, um, isn't it? So we don't clash. It, well, it's honestly... <laughs> I'm distraught. Why are you distraught, Bubba? Because you're not playing. No session. No session. Oh, he doesn't oh. know what to do with this time. Um, no, it's uh, because we've got work conflicts and, you know, work conflicts and life conflicts and... Like, if we can all be kind of, you know... Flexible. Flexible? Like, I'm, we're going to try because losing people sucks. We just unfortunately lost one of our players um, end of December, beginning of January. Um, he's just working too many hours and him trying to get home from working all day to immediately sit down and try to play and try to get into that mindset was tough. And we're not going to condemn someone for being like... I can't do it all, you know. You, you, can't, <laughs> you can't. You can't be mad at someone for condemned. just paying we, the bills. So yeah, we, we're currently we're relating extremely well right now. Yeah, it's it sucks. It sucks because you've grown to love them and they've grown to love their character, and to see them step back and to see them, you know, not sit at your table every week, like that's that sucks. Even it a really virtual does. one, and mm -hmm. it's wild that yeah. Like, we record on Saturday mornings, and it's probably the only thing that would get me out of my hangover state, <laughs> out of bed that mm -hmm. early in the morning. Because otherwise, mm -hmm. I'm like, nah, I'm staying asleep. But for these guys, I love to come down here and spend three hours telling a story and connecting. Don't lie. Mm -hmm. We spend two hours telling a story That's and right. one hour absolutely bullshitting, which gets me in <laughs> trouble for four hours afterwards. <laughs> I don't think we have started a stream on time, ever. Bows are half ever. Either. That's whether you know a sign some of, a of us time. are running late, or some of us are running late. We sometimes talk too much. Um, you know, it just it just happens. Uh, uh, Jeff. Uh, you know. Yeah. So. Because you're just vibing, like you're having a yeah. good time with your friends. Mm-hmm. And like as much as I'm like I want to start the session, I'm at least uh, at the same time I'm like, what you guys do today? Mm -hmm. I bet it was better than what I did. <laughs> so, so if but. you were looking to replace somebody, like you wanted somebody had to take a step back, and you needed somebody new to take a seat at the table, mm -hmm. what kind of characteristics are you looking for in a player, and how do you suss those out in a virtual sense? So honestly, we just like we like I said, we just kind of had this happen. Like Jordan yeah. stepped back, and we we weren't sure if we really wanted to add another player to the team. We're like, do we continue? Do we whatever? But Sprinkler kind of fell in our lap. We had been kind of getting to know him for the last couple months. Mm -hmm. and he's like, oh, I love D and D, like all this stuff, and his personality, along with his humor, and you know, just. The way he knew like TTRPGs, he kind of just fit, and I feel so like Sprinkler with... and I are the same person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, Honestly, you are in many ways. Yeah, like someone who wants to—you want someone to be respectful at your table. You want someone to at least bring, you know, not necessarily have to be funny, but they have to, you know, at least relate to, or not relate, but maybe like 
admire the jokes that are being told or you know you kind of just tolerate your jokes yeah yeah <laughs> you, you just kind of see someone's energy um mm -hmm. play some different games with them if you're like we played among us like i said with the other groups so for so long um if they can't play something as simple as among us and like you can't feel their vibes off of something like that they're probably not a good fit like if you don't vibe with them like that in the game we're probably not going to vibe at a table. Can we all get together and play idea. Among Us? I feel like that'd be a fun crossover. I don't. I think I've only played once. It's I don't chaotic. really know what I'm doing. Uh, uh, you lie to each who other. Who really does life throw, among throw us? your friends under the bus? Oh, by the way, uh, thanks for the follow, Jeff Troidvania, and thanks for the sub, Farles Barkley lives. Farles, Jeff, hello. I'm so envious of that man's voice. It's horseshit. Oh, which one? Farles. Farles. Farles is a lovely human. Fucking voice of an angel. I was listening back in the crossover stream that we had a few weeks ago. A couple weeks ago? Mm -hmm. Last Sunday? A week last ago? Week of, last week of January, yeah. I'm having a hard time placing it. It was last weekend, wasn't it? Oh my god. Not this past, but the weekend before. And speaking of energy, I think that's... I, th I really think that's why LGR and FGBG have come together because before we literally were just two channels that crossed paths on instagram mm -hmm. i met him true. in a chat i met him in a chat Where'd we met because of decent mm -hmm. oh you met him in decent's chat that's uh, how met... instagram's crossed over oh well see i, and then I wasn't I found... aware of that part and then i sat in y'all's chat uh -huh. and then i talked to t and then yeah, this all ha this is happening because Jav's face popped up on TikTok one day. Mm -hmm. Wow, Jav is just bringing people together. As much as we hate TikTok, it brings people together. Thank you know, Jav. I hate TikTok, I just hate algorithms. <laughs> in in Jav, do we trust? In Jav, do we trust? <laughs> Don't tell him we said that though. His head's big enough. <laughs> but I love him. So I much. started saying thank 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 Jav. Oh my Jav. <laughs> oh my Jav. <laughs> I WWJD. won't give him the satisfaction. WWJD, but it, you know we'll we'll know what, what it means. What would Jav do? <laughs> Get the bracelets out. I'll just. I still got mine from back in Bible camp, Brit. I think. I'll just cross something out. Um, the hand jobs. What? Sakwa is really going off. Where's the bonk? <laughs> All the job. Bonk him. Jav, Jav uh, with a V, V. So then tell us about your current campaign that you're working through. So our current campaign is called a tuatangi, which means um, the basically like God is crying. Um, <laughs> That's what it, means. <laughs> it, it means God is crying in Samoan. Um, the whole world is islands. So the entire campaign is about islands. Like the world has been flooded um and basically to get anywhere you have to take a boat um so basically we're kind of we just started being pirates um but uh basically we're part of an adventure league that's base that's kind of given tasks to go around quests um and each island we've kind of been on so far we've gotten to know a little bit more and more of our characters um <laughs> so is just learning what this campaign means. So also, what's in a way? Oh. <laughs> I came and that's up with the it. importance of session zero. <laughs> I didn't know that it was a flooded world or didn't know that a two tongue <laughs> a god is crying. Because <laughs> those are two very, very different. Um, no, but Simba and I, uh, we were brainstorming what our next campaign should be. And I was like, we were at that time playing the video game Raft. Um, which, if you don't oh, okay. know, the world has been flooded. And you're basically trying to find yeah, a sanctuary. I assume you guys had just played Wind Waker. <laughs> 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 no, we were playing Raft. We were, I think we were binging Raft at that time. So I was like, what if you came up with this? I was like, I know we just got off a video game campaign, but what if we did another one? And it's, I mean, um, Simba says so. we never told them the translation. <laughs> to be fair. Yeah, no, but 
we always, when Thomas writes, makes maps, excuse me, he tries to come up with names that mean weird things for his t cities and towns. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I'm just going to look up what it would be God is crying <laughs> in other languages. And a Tuatangi showed up. Oh, so you didn't so intentionally start with Samoan and go from there. You just like <laughs> the sound. No, but it was fitting because islands and it was God's you know, crying. So interesting. And isn't it funny how like all these pop culture things come into like bleed into your campaign? Like I'm planning the next one and it directly the idea came from something I just seen recently. I'm not gonna say what it is, T. Um I'm not yeah. gonna remember anyways. <laughs> I'm not sure you've even seen it yet. Probably not. But I just like, oh, that's such an interesting concept. I just want to build mm -hmm. on that. Yeah, it, it really is. Like, that's why Stardew Valley. I am the type of person that if you connect something with something I already like, mm -hmm. I understand it better and cling on to it better. Yeah. Um, you know the game Munchkin? Yeah. I hate the game. Hated the game. <laughs> but then we bought Adventure Time Munchkin. I love Adventure Time. It is one of my favorite TV shows. Um, we got Adventure Time Munchkin, and now I love the game. See? Because that's, you just need a little merchandise. Two two together, and I really like it. So um, I think that's what I was like, let's get people interested. Let's do Stardew themed. Because we were all playing it. Like, it's a beloved game. Um, so why not? So. And your campaigns um, and sessions have always had like people in mind, whether they were the audience coming to learn how to play a TTRPG for the first time, or yep. people in need in your surrounding community. Yep. Tell yep, us about yep. that. So um, let's get rolling. Uh, donates all our profits from our bits and subs directly to a charity of the team's choice. So um, every two months we pick a different charity and that's who we donate to. Um, and who's it this I've, month? So for this month, it is Feed Buffalo, which is a local organization that is um, Thomas and I are from Buffalo. Um, okay. And they have we... the worst wings. Well, that's it for her. <laughs> I'm just saying for you. Um, uh, we recently we had a um, a blizzard over Christmas. We had a really bad blizzard where a lot of people were out of out of heat, <laughs> out of heat. They were um, they didn't have access to foods. Um, and there's a lot of places in downtown Buffalo that are food deserts. Which, if you don't know what a food desert is, um, mm -mm. you have to actively travel with with outside of walking distance to get to a, like a supermarket. Um, or a gas station to even get something as simple as milk. Really? Um, yeah. So for a lot of people in downtown Buffalo who couldn't leave their homes, they were stranded without food. Yeah. And something like Feed Buffalo was doing hand deliveries to people, people who were immunocompromised, people who were elderly, people without heat. Feed Buffalo was making deliveries during the blizzard, um, which I think is like so awesome like to see like your community come together um so we wanted to give back to them so that's what we're doing this month um we've done another charity which is um the western new york homeless alliance um we've done the Pre trevor project in august we did the donate to celebrate a thon um which raised money for um oh elevated access which is a super organization um they they have pilots donate their time to fly people to get gender affirming and abortion health care. Wow. Um, That's awesome. So, so elevated and, access. Mm -hmm. That's super, super cool. cool. And um, legally the, the pilots cannot take any cash or any type of gift. So they donate their time. So it's all donated time. Basically the money that they get in trains, um, you know, their staff to like, make sure that like people are getting like, like setting up their site, setting up, all, paying for like fuel, um, paying for like, you know, um, runway stuff, all that stuff. Um, that's what the money goes to. Um, and our community wow. came together and raised $850 for them. Um, Very I think I was there for that so, stream. Yes. Simba and I did some crazy things we will not mention. Um, <laughs> So, um, but yeah, we raised 850 and then someone went and matched that 
850 and basically $1,700 was donated to Elevated Access. That's so awesome. It's super cool. And to see the community come together, just pour like outpouring of love was just mm -hmm. was blown away, especially because at that point, we'd only been on Twitch for like six months. Yeah. Um, and so it was just super cool. And in six um, months, you did more good for than we ever have than we ever have. That's incredible. So, but we just want to get like, that's our thing, like to try to split a profit from when you're not making that much anyway between six people is kind of like you know it, could we use it of course but like to kind of give back to people and um just say be like hey we love to support people like things that we care about things like the and the and we the, the people that we choose to donate to mean like are things that are near and dear to our heart like mm -hmm. um you know we we stand with things like you know the Trevor Project, where LGBTQ and um, things like abortion being healthcare, as well as um, you know gender affirming healthcare, like those are the things that we as a team like stand for and mm -hmm. you know want to give back to. So um, it's not like we're just like, oh, let's see. It's there's things that mean a lot to us. So that's incredible. Uh, so. I'm but just, let, I'm feeling great about you and terrible about us. <laughs> but I know that's I not feel like this. It's okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Is this is this what it's like? It, you get used to it. <laughs> but I honestly, we couldn't do it without our community. Yeah. Like we're just the faces that show up on the screen. These people Big are, facts. you know, so we just entertain people. The, these are the people. Like our community members are the ones who are the people giving back. Um, mm -hmm. Like they raised twelve hundred dollars last year for awesome charities, and like I said, we couldn't do it without them. So um, it's not us; it's them. So, well, kudos to you guys for creating the platform to do so and creating the community. Like I will give all the props to the community, but I am a strong believer that the community reflects the creator. And that's why your community is so amazing is because you guys are doing amazing things. Well, we, we want to make and foster a community that is accepting and loving and, you know, knows that like, we want to give back because mm -hmm. I want to put into the universe what I want to get back the good to get good back. And we want to create a community that just enjoys watching us do stupid shit on the internet. That's what Everyone's it's all about. We never sat down and claimed to be good people. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you guys keep telling us we're good people. We keep saying you're wrong. <laughs> so all of you, please go use the command LGR and open a new tab. Don't go away from this one. Just open a new tab and go subscribe to let's get rolling so that more of their subs and the dollars can go towards feed buffalo mm -hmm. to help connect the gaps in these food desert areas of buffalo which is yep. amazing and we're doing we're doing a don another donate to celebrate a thon on the 24th from five to whatever whenever. o'clock whenever um to raise more money for feed buffalo because yes what are you going to be doing on that stream a um, little bit of this, a little bit of that. Um, I'm going to be doing some solo games at the beginning. Um, Simba's going to come in for some duo games. And at the end, I think the whole group is coming in and we're doing... Okay, I don't know how to describe it other than... Uh, we're calling it... Let's, let's get only fans. <laughs> uh, so it's going to be PowerPoint presentations. Now, before mm -hmm. you get... We all put a different theme in a hat. No, I'm with you. And it could be whatever, as long as long as it's TOS friendly. Everyone oh, puts a theme in a hat, <laughs> and we basically have to come up with a PowerPoint presentation about five or six slides, mm -hmm. putting out a presentation about your topic. Yep, that's a game on um, Jackbox. Jackbox. Yes, we, that's where we, we got, got the some, idea from. Yes, that yep, makes but, some shit. <laughs> mm -hmm. We should do and, more of that too. Yes, we should. So, so we're gonna do something like that. You know then people are going to vote 
for the winner and things like that. So, but there's going to be giveaways. There's going to, we're going to give away a TTRPG prize pack. Um, we're going to be giving away games. Um, I'm calling so dibs on that prize pack. If I don't we're get all it, in different. Quitting. You probably have the TTRPG we're going to pick anyway. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you're trying to say. It. I've been going through your your stash <laughs> that you've let me borrow. That's the only reason I came across Thirsty Sword Lesbians. Legally, <laughs> no, I did not. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. <clears throat> I, I <clears throat> coughed. Sorry. So then think about like five years from now. You guys are okay. on year three, on year eight, or on year okay. ten. Where do you see or where do you hope to see Let's Get Rolling? I don't know. Oprah. Oprah. Mm. She could be alive. Maybe that Jimmy long. Kimmel, but not Oprah. Yeah. But you're. Um, we can't go on Oprah. You can go on Oprah. Yeah, you're doing good <laughs> for the world. You're donating and making the world a better place. I think over the last few weeks, I've really enjoyed teaching people the joys of playing tabletop games. Yeah. Um, like teaming up with you guys and, you know, other streamers, just seeing. So a couple weeks ago, I put out a kind of like a call to like arms. Like, like, why aren't you playing TTRPG games? Like, what is keeping you from joining a campaign or, you know, reach whatever. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of responses of no one wants to teach me. I don't know how. I don't have time. I don't have this. I don't, I think people would make me feel stupid because I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And that broke my heart because it's like, we try to be the most inclusive, like party, like that, inv like come ask us questions. Like we want right. to answer questions. Um, and that broke my heart to hear people like, well, I don't, people are going to think I'm stupid. I'm like, no, ask me the questions. I want to answer your questions. And that kind of like T and I had been talking for a while because Decent had been in, like bugging us about playing D and D with us. But he won't. And we're like, yeah, he was very. But we're, yeah, but he was like, you guys could never invite me to a game. And I'm like, okay. Thomas is like, let's shut him up. Let's just ask people to play. And so the people who had a lot of people that responded to like my thing or people I heard in the past, like, oh, I really love to try it. Mm -hmm. I asked. And, you know, just getting to know them and playing with them, they were all really good for a lot of them being their first time were super good, like hopping into their players and just role playing and all that stuff. And I'm, I'm like, it, it's that easy, like, you know, building a character sheet and, you know, trying to do the maths. Yeah, that's the hard part. But, you know, stepping into a different... We have to be honest, so that's not, that's not the hard part. The hard part is finding us to sit down at the head of a table and run a game for people. It's easy to bring people into a world to mm -hmm. let them play. Having True. somebody be comfortable enough to run a table mm -hmm. is the biggest, most difficult part about Grit. So if you're here, we're here to play with you, but don't get mm -hmm. discouraged if you're like, oh, I have people, but we don't know what the fuck we're doing, that yeah. you're not alone. Yeah, you're not, you're not. And, and T and the rest of the gang and I will say, it's not if you reach out to us we will find you a table or we will find you an opportunity to play yep and there's ways just like you guys got together there are discords mm -hmm. like we've yeah. got i know we've got it in our channel you probably have a channel like looking for player or looking for recommendations mm -hmm. a ttrpg channel D, &D channel mm -hmm. go to discords and say hey i'm looking to play a game there are tons of people yeah. just like that we use a platform called One More Multiverse, which I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys seen it. It looks like basically a video game with maps and our characters and we it's can move cool. them. And so it is very cool. And it's a it's a free resource, by the way. Free resource. So That's if you're wild. a DM and you want to play for virtually. It when, when we used it. But yeah. I was like, oh, this free. is free? Free. <laughs> you get a lot. And their, their Discord has tons of player looking for game dms looking for game okay. if you go inside there and you use one more multiverse which is a little wonky at first to get to use but is amazing once you have go into those i if you need um there is one that i know of that if you identify as she her they them there's one for that safe space too if you are you know 
on a, if you're afraid of like the table or people that you might find and you want to save space, I know discords for that too. So mm -hmm. reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help um, because uh, I don't want to gatekeep. Yeah, I don't want to gatekeep it. Yes, I no. love it and I want to keep it precious because like you see what Wizard of the Coast have done to it in a matter of weeks. Bitches. <laughs> yeah. Um, I want other people to play. I want other people to know the joys mm -hmm. of sitting down at a table and rolling a nat 20. Like, yes, I fucking did it. My character's boss ass bitch. I love it. Like, I, I want other people. I want other people to have that joy as well. So. And so would Instagram be a good way to connect with you guys to find you on there and shoot you a message? Yeah. Or? Um, this uh, Discord uh, is attached to our Twitch page or um, Instagram. Um, if you okay. see a talking, and usually the talking head behind the name. So if you reach out to Discord, if you reach out to me on Twitter, if you reach out to me, uh, you can even DM me in, I guess, Twitch. <laughs> um, <laughs> you'll talk to me. But your but, Twitch has all the links into your socials, into everything mm -hmm. that they can yep. use to connect with you guys. And mm -hmm. you should please connect with these people. Yes. Well, I want to get you to, I want you to get you in contact with the people that you yeah. want. Like, because uh, gatekeeping, people gatekeep air nowadays. It's stupid. <laughs> it's it's stupid. so dumb. It's really dumb. So, but yes. That, I think that's the next goal for Let's Get Rolling is to not necessarily bring like, you know, a whole new party to the table, but more mm -hmm. like continuing to foster, you know, the six raccoons in a trench coat, but also branch out and pop open you know, an umbrella. Yes. Mm -hmm. From the rain and, of gatekeeping. And, and be that it's pissing yeah. on your head, calling it rain. And if you find gatekeepers, remind them these hands are rated E for everyone. For everyone. Yep. Mm-hmm. So, but and that, yeah. I think that's why we get along so well because we are literally preaching the same thing. Let's the make it same louder. TTRPG gospel. For the people in the back. Yep. Okay. Well, if we haven't convinced you already to love the shit out of Brit, then I don't know what more to say other than stick around because she's about to do some ridiculous things and so are we thanks to it's the internet and we all need clips right <laughs> <laughs> it's true so Britt, if you're okay let's transition a little bit to okay put our party hats on and let's play a little game that i like to call roll to hit So here's how it's going to work. Uh, we've got 10 challenges of increasingly embarrassing situations. And you guys in the chat are going to be able to help us. Because if you say our name, T, Brit, or Bozer, and then use command D20, uh, Nightbot will randomly give you a roll 1 to 20. And that sets our personal ACs. So we're each going to have a different AC as long as the chat continues to collaborate with us <laughs> or otherwise we're going to set our own ACs. We will roll to hit. And if we roll higher than our AC, then we got hit and we have to do whatever the challenge is. If we roll under or what's the, what's the DM rule? If we roll our it AC, meets, it beats, meets, it beats. Okay. So if we hit our AC or above, we have to take the hit and do the challenge. If we roll beneath it, then we are safe and we do what not. What if I want to do the thing? Well, then you're welcome to. What if I want to tell a joke? Then it's it's like when someone goes to hit you, but like you want to get hit. So bring it, bitch! I'm a masochist. <laughs> <laughs> are you Click good? That, please. <laughs> All good. Those listening back on podcasts think that you just got murdered. Probably. Oh, there was a knife. That could have been a problem. God. <laughs> just kidding, Twitch. It's fake. <laughs> All right. So, chat pop off. Use T, command D20. Brit, command D20. Bozer, command D20. And we're going to find what our own ACs are. Own ACs are. 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 I'm waiting for Simba to do it because I was assuming that he would. Oh, I have to do it for you? 
T D twenty. Uh Sock, you're gonna lump it the space between Yeah, you gotta do the space exclamation. Sorry. I said it confusing. Usually. Just put the command and then our name somewhere in there so we know who you're doing. Yeah, Sock, who you doing? Who you doing? Nineteen. Okay. Damn, Brit ain't doing shit. Oh, it's not. Is it going too slow? Do I have to like allow for people to do it back to back to back? Uh, you might. Nightbot gets uh. Nightbot. I did suck. You're right. I you did exactly what I told you to do. I led you astray. And okay, for some see. reason, he's in charge. Just for kidding. If I was in charge, we would be nowhere. You think I know how to do any of this shit? I don't. Five seconds is the <laughs> least I can do. <laughs> so I'm going to just do one for me. And maybe it'll let me. Okay. So I'm at 17. Ooh, good. You're at a 19. Mm -hmm. And T is at a. Oh, was I supposed to roll? No, we need somebody to roll for you, but. Well, Sock tried twice. He and tried. It just didn't, didn't happen. Did someone just put an exclamation point D20. Okay. T wow. <laughs> Just fuck. What do you say? Fuck me, folks. Yeah. So this is to tell a joke. Let's get rolling. All right. Ooh, I'm safe. I rolled a 13. 14. I have a good one. Hey, th <laughs> please do. Please, uh, God in heaven, have a good one. Job in heaven. Uh, <laughs> I got an email promoting reading maps backwards. Oh, yeah? It was spam. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next challenge. Share an embarrassing story. How about that time that T got us all canceled? That was pretty uh, that's not embarrassing. All right, give one. us an... And that one. No, we need new ACs. Because you're not oh, a 19 all night. <laughs> oh, okay. I was going to say. <laughs> no. Okay, just to speed things up. Britt, go ahead and type. <laughs> Give yourself okay. a 20. Okay. okay. I'm a 16. Oh, you're 11. at 11. And T, let's see what yours is at. I think Stella and... Oh, we uh... did it too soon. <laughs> I think we all. I think we all went too quickly. This was and a really good plan in theory. You know what they say about the best laid plans. And you're there. 14. We go. Fourteen. Okay. Come on, sixteen, baby. Ooh, I got 14. a sixteen. I got, I got 16. a twelve. I got a sixteen. You want me to tell an embarrassing story? I married yes. Simba. <laughs> oh, who you met on Omega? Oh, uh, I really do love him, though. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you love the middle finger entering the chat. It's good um, representation. All right. D20. Okay. Next this next challenge, right? show off the very first photo on your personal Instagram. 13. Back when none of us knew what Instagram really was, and we just thought we could take photos and spam them. The internet was such a vastly different time. It really was. It was a wild, wild west. Because I think that year is when Facebook was still blink, like your name is, and then you put your status. Uh -huh. So like they didn't read in a way that oh, made shit. sense in the slightest. You got a two. I did. So T's at an eight, I'm at a two, and you're at a 13. Mm-hmm. Okay. We got this. Five. Seventeen. Six. I got a five. So T and I have to show off our own and yours. Oh, you're safe. But luckily for T, I plan ahead. So <laughs> I've got his ready. I just have to put it out there. I didn't want to put it out there until we were all ready. And this is where things go sideways because every time Bozer leaves a screen. That's T. <laughs> That's T's very first photo so that bad. he decided to put on Instagram. 
How old back were you? Back with the iPhone 4. Uh, I, that was 2012, so I think I was 17, 16, 17. Cute. What a looker. Fun fact, uh, if I shave my beard, my face is still exactly the same. That's why I don't shave my face. And Thomas has a baby face, too. Sometimes I, I get on my own, like, back about saying, well, I'm a fake geek. Like, I didn't love it as early as everybody else did. But this is what I first put on my Instagram, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the very first picture that I thought, the internet needs to keep this forever. That's very fitting for what year would that have been? This was, like, 2012. Okay. Like, when Instagram started to really get hot. So that would put you in college, which makes it even funnier. I think I just graduated. <laughs> I'm that old. You want to go ahead? Oh, and graduated somebody. college. That's right. Yeah. Bozer and oh. I are the same age. I forgot you guys are that uh -huh. much older than me. Forty-eight, both of us. Married with yep. twenty kids. Uh huh. All right, that was a little trip down memory lane. Next challenge: show off the weirdest thing on your desk. Oh God. Either somebody give us a d20 or we'll do it for you. I rolled an eight. For your for your AC? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, I'm at a three. Shit. <laughs> I don't have anything weird on my desk. It says weirdest. Comparatively speaking to the other things on your desk, which is the most weird? Well, you're an 18. Or T. Um, Stella rolled for you. Oh, I got a nat 20, so. Ooh. Okay, so you're going to have to show something weird. What, I was at a 3. Oh, man, I just rolled an 18, so, yep. 15. <laughs> That's a yup. Yep. All right, I found something else weird on my desk. Are you ready? Okay, I'm going to make you your picture big so we can see okay. the weirdest thing so. in all its glory. <laughs> I'm... I'm embarrassing myself as well. So, um, my my mom gave my daughter my like second or third grade picture, and my daughter put it in a frame. <laughs> okay, but this is the photo. Aww. <laughs> Look, Just out of great. curiosity, are your bangs at an angle? Yep. <laughs> Did you do that yourself? Most likely. <laughs> I, was, I was second grade, like. <laughs> We have a running uh, but, joke with my younger sister because she cut her hair at one point and swears to this day still that Barbie did it. Oh, oh yeah. And so that was my first thought was What if she did that? What if Barbie did it? How terrifying. I mean, that, that's, but yeah, that's my weird thing on my desk. The other thing was ranch packet. <laughs> ranch. <laughs> um the weirdest thing on my desk is actually something that you might have seen on stream, but usually you can't because I'm fondling it off camera. <laughs> Your pee bottle? Nope. That's not off on my desk. It's on the floor like a gentleman. Um, I don't know if this is TOS, but this is a Stretch Armstrong. <laughs> oh. And he's got blue underwear on, but I rubbed them off from playing with him. And unintentionally, my mother gave me this last Christmas in a stocking stucker, st stocking stocker? stuffer, and this Christmas she thought, you know what, you need another one. <laughs> so I've got two, and this is so come back next year when he doesn't have pants again. When I've got two naked men, now I want to play desk. with them together because I like the way they feel in my hands. You rubbed <laughs> off the stretch arm strong. I. I did. I Someone did. clip that so we can totally take that out of context. <laughs> All right, T, what's the weirdest thing on your desk? Uh, the best I've got is lens wipes. Whoa, wow, weirdo. Leg wipes? But lens wipes. Oh, but in my defense, that was because... Like, why, do you, why do you wipes specifically for your leg? If I didn't reorganize my office space on Saturday, it would have been worse. But that's that's all I got. It's all right. You're just such a very normal human being. You Correct. don't know how to be weird. All, all right, right next challenge. Different. Sing a song, or no, draw a self-portrait without looking. So your AC is an eight. Stella, I'm gonna say you rolled for me. I'm an 11. 
So T, we just need you. I moved my keyboard to get ready to draw. Oh, I'll, I'll do it for you. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh. Three! Yeah, you're getting ready to draw, my friend. Eight, 11, and three. Let's see. Another nat 20. Ones. Ooh. If I meet it, I beat it. So I, I meet it. I'm drawn. Uh, this was a nine. Oh, you just scratched by. You said no, we're doing it without eight, looking? Right? Yes. So I'm drawing or not drawing? You're drawing. Yeah, you rolled an okay. eight. And okay. you hit 11 or a nine, right? So you just okay. barely. All right. All right. So I've got paper down here. I'm just going to look up. I'll just look at it. Stare at you guys in the camera. No, then are I'm we... going to start drawing you. Okay. On your mark. Set. Wait, how long are we drawing? Um, Like 30 seconds. Okay. Oh, are we going? We're going, yeah. Oh, nobody said anything. Go. Um, I think that's my neck. I don't even know where I'm at or what I'm doing. I feel like I'm about to get real Salvador Dali in this bitch. Is that who I'm thinking of? Uh, yeah, like her Picasso. Yeah. Something. <laughs> that's creepy, but. <laughs> I'm terrified to look. I think I'm done, but I'm terrified I, to look. I'm done. Ooh. Okay. Let's, Ooh, I'm going to put pretty. this away so we can all see. Where's my, where's my mouse? There it is. That's not as bad as I was expecting. I, I was pretty consistent. Oh. You know what? If these lines meet, met up, it'd be pretty solid. So everyone show it. That's cute, T. I'd marry her. Her? Damn. That was my beard. It was blowing in the wind. Oh, it looks like beautiful hair behind you. I made my head Jay Leno size, but my, the rest of my body... <laughs> With the thumbs up? Yeah. Don't uh, don't tell people I'm an artist. One of my faves. I mean, somebody else drew our new emote, right? Yep. Oh, Brian Scheider. Oh, Brian Scheider. Oh, Brian Scheider. <laughs> That's All right, next one. challenge. Draw a sing a song of chat's choice. So a couple uh, clarifications. We have to know the song, or at least be familiar, and then we can Google some lyrics if we need to. Wonderwall. <laughs> I will sing Wonderwall. Ten. Okay. My AC is a. Uh... Either you do or I'm doing. Okay, you're that, a two. Oh. That was you. So you're a two. And I'm a seven. Oh, good. I think we're all going to sing, you guys. Ten, two, and seven. Yep, I'm rolled. I've nice never nice been seat. so happy to roll in that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> fourteen. I've never been so happy for a crit failure. I rolled 14. a fourteen, too. I crit Twinsies. critical success. Where I doubled my AC, so it's... All like, right, what are we critical. singing? You guys Talk should do what... Are we singing different songs? You guys should do song from High School Musical. <gasps> with Troy and Gabriella. I know that song. Uh, I love that I, song. I know the chorus. I don't think I know the whole song. Wait, it's okay. been a while. Look, I'll pull up the lyrics. Okay. Um, soaring, flying. Is that the one, or is it the first one? Oh, I was singing the first one, where they meet at the party. Soaring, flying. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do Soren's Fly. Where she's quirky there. and reading at a party because she's so. Oh, original. I don't know that one. I just know it's awkward. It is. Fun fact that was one of my first performances. What was your part? Uh, I actually did it twice. The first time I was Troy, uh, the second time I was Chaz. Chad. Chad. Wow. We both played Troy. I've played Troy twice and Ryan once. I played an ugly stepsister in you're Cinderella. Ve you're very, very Ryan. That's a fitting. That's yeah. a fitting. But role. in High School Musical 2, I played Ryan. Okay. So I got to play baseball. That don't dare. <laughs> okay, I'll pause the music. You ready, Britt? I miss Doug. I hope he's sure. Well. Where are we starting? Um, let's start on. Um, but your faith. 
<laughs> it gives me strength. So it'll lead into the chorus. Is there going to be then... lag, though? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> okay. That's not our problem. What key we starting in, though? But your faith, it gives, gives me strength. strength. Strength, strength to, to believe. 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 We'll but break it, it free, so red. <laughs> Flying. There's not a star in, in heaven that we can't can reach. If, we, if we're trying. Yeah, yeah we're we'll breaking free. free. <laughs> oh, we're breaking free. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> wow. We are so good. I used to be obsessed with that movie for a hot minute. And what year did that be... come out? What year did oh, that God. come out? And isn't that wild? There was absolutely no lag. That was great. It's the power of melon. That came out my junior year of high school. <laughs> Simba said I got that in real time, plus the delay. <laughs> 2006? Oh, God. Yeah, that, yeah, that tracks. I was in elementary school. That track. Mm. Bozier was, was in high school. High school, and that <laughs> was it was in, it was my high school musical because it was telling the story of my high school. When they was graduated, it? I graduated. When they that college, will forever I blow my mind. Zach Efron did not sing in that movie. It was Drew Seeley's voice in the first one, but then mm -hmm. he sang it was in the a next blend year. of his voice. Yeah, which is very odd. But that's well, just me. He was a child back then. It was fine. Yeah. Why right. do you know that sock was? Post an ugly selfie to your story. Mm, uh, and what story though? I'm not calling Indeed. any of us Let's ugly. Get rolling or mine because people get from on mine get ugly selfies all the time. False. But you had to do it on Let's Get Rolling. Okay. That way we can draw more attention to it. Five. I got it. Oh, three. you betcha. And let's see what do we get. End me. <laughs> Why do I know that, Sockfuzz? And me. A seven. I think we're all posting some nasty selfies. Here we go. Nine. Six. Nine. Yep. Damn. Get your phones. Fuck. See, what if the post of the story is the exact same time? That would be funny. And it cancels each other out. Hopefully it's charged by now. And this would this is gonna be what the thumbnail's made of. I'm good. <laughs> all right all right okay how ugly we talk and like you know whatever scare ugly my child <laughs> ugly um scare thomas ugly um he already sees you when you wake scare up every yourself day. ugly be quicker bows are already posted Bye, Sock Fuzz. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Hope you have a good Bye, night. Bye, good night. Thanks for hanging out, Socks. Dream on, made Insta. me do it. All right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> What's yours? How bad is yours? Oh, all I got is live in 45. I was like, that is not ugly. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like tease. <sighs> if you want to see, go to our Instagram. And let's get rolling. Oh, that's a good one, T. Thank you. Oh, boom. Ah, wow. beat you to it. Wow, you're too good at this. Type faster. Oh, wow! <laughs> That is glorious, Brett. That is Good glorious. Good save, Bozer. Ugh. All right, next. Eat a spoonful of a condiment that we all chose on our own beforehand. Oh, goodness. All right. Okay, I'm at 13 this time. Ooh, 16. It didn't take yours, Brett. Try one more time. 17. Ooh, might be safe. Okay. I am safe. I got a seven. I'm at a five. I'm okay. I've never been more upset to roll a fucking nat 20. <laughs> 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 mm. 
<laughs> yes. No tartar <laughs> sauce for me, but what are you eating? I just had ketchup. Here is my spoon of choice. It is my child's. A baby spoon? Of sriracha. Ooh, okay. Let's see it in real time. Get that right. spoon up. A pie, we want to see it. Oh, yeah. Make a... A spoon full of sriracha. Big bite! <laughs> <laughs> Weirdly enough, that was the same face that you just posted as a selfie. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make that my new background, actually, on my phone. Yep, every time you call me, that's what pops up. Oh. Okay, here is where we get creative. If we All right, so challenge. Haikus are 575, five, right? Correct. Okay. We have to create a haiku about D&D, &D, and we only get 60 seconds to do it. Oh. Okay. How are we doing? Oh, I got a 12. This is pretty 50-50 for me. Okay. Man of the year, bring me a cup of milk. Wow. <laughs> Britt, you're at a 5 AC. Yep, I'm going to have to do it. Well, when I'm 14, I think you might have to create a haiku. I don't know. He and I are... Oh, I got an 11. <laughs> nice. Six. Oh. I'm safe. For the for sake of content, though, I'll give it a whirl. I, I want to see if I still have it in me. Let's see if I can still channel my inner Mr. Epsis class. We were just talking about you, actually. I ran into you him. You and Todd Yeah, I ran That's into him. That's terrifying. And he was. We were talking about role play, and he said, um, well, "See what I like to do." And at T, at taking my creative writing class, um, he better be doing this too, where he just steps back and he says, "Now role play." Yeah. And I'm like, well, he, yeah, he does. He doesn't often need to because we just do anyway. All of my writing goes back to everything he taught me in my sophomore year. That's beautiful. Okay. Even if we passed, we're still all trying. So you get 60 seconds <laughs> starting now, even though I gave you a 30 second head start. Podcast listeners, this is some solid content right now. Five, seven, five. I also have to write one. I think that's right. Okay, done. <clears throat> Maybe. What? <laughs> I'm clapping my I'm clapping my syllables. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know how else to count syllables. That's how I learned in elementary school, and I've done it every day since. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Mary right. Daly Elementary in the gym. That's where we learned to clap right. syllables. Why? I don't fucking know. That's where we met. T, isn't that cute? I don't know. Do you remember that? Yes. I do. I do. All right, Britt, you got 10 Who's seconds. class was I in? Ah. Doug Hennings. No, he wasn't a teacher. Well, it was the drama club. Yeah, but what class did he find me in? Where was I recruited? I don't know, Miss Dar's class? No, Miss Barnes. Miss Dar's first grade. I don't know what grade you were in. I was in third with Miss Barnes. I don't know her. Huh? She is the reason I say Jackrabbit the first thing out of my mouth every month to get good luck. <laughs> every month? The first every thing? Every month. Yep. Jackrabbit. I've done it my for I'm third grade would have put me at what, nine? So Jeez. almost 20 years I've been doing this superstition and you landed on a channel with me so how's that working yeah. out for you well ah wow i gave you an opportunity to slam me and you didn't take it <laughs> that's really cute all right I'll, all right I'll, I'll hit it when you least expect it thank you all right t hit us with what we least expect. oh i'm going first yeah hit us with a good Fuck. all right solid i don't know if it's gonna be good i'm hoping this is right in dungeons halls deep 
Adventurers gather around, rolling dice with glee. Wow. That was... Did I, I a write a haiku? <laughs> I, don't, I did not write a haiku. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm more curious now. I'm going to read my... All right, and you then ready? I want, I want oh, you, you I want to okay. be the big finale. <clears throat> okay, mine's really messed up. <laughs> D and D is love. D and D is life. Also, critical Shrek fail. I think that was eight. D and D is life. Also, also uh, is also. See, that's why I clap because I don't know. Also, two syllables. Yeah, mine definitely wasn't um, a haiku. It was a, a poem of sorts. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hear it. All right, you ready? Mm -hmm. I once knew a bard named Chucky. <laughs> <laughs> this is a limerick. <laughs> That's what it's called. <laughs> Who she wasn't very it. good at rolling lucky. He tried to seduce a really hot goose. But in the end, it all turned fucky. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> she got it wrong, but still did better. <laughs> <laughs> Failed successfully. <laughs> okay, last challenge of the night. Damn it. Okay. Keep a straight face while reading a prompt, which will be given to you in an Australian accent. Oh, God. A three. Uh oh. You're going to be reading this. Cool. Oh, I rolled a five, so am I. Seventeen. I rolled a twenty. <laughs> oh, shoot. That's the first time anyone's ever rolled a twenty using... Uh, this and then I rolled a two. Damn, see, when Bozer and I do this for a bit, I usually spend an entire work day coming up with shit. Okay. Well... Quickly draft up in a note somewhere else what I'm going to read. I'm going to write what you're going to read, Britt. Okay. Okay. And then mm. I'll go first. Or no, you'll go. You can, you ladies first. You can go first. You am, just am I writing one for time. you? Am I writing one for you? No, T didn't need to. Oh, okay. Or unless you want to write mine and I'll write yours. You want to... I just want to put okay. pressure, unneeded pressure on you. Uh, Put it on T. Okay. Because he's not doing it. All right. T, you're going to write mine and Britt, I'm going to write yours. And this okay. is what you're going to read in Australian accent. Okay. Channel my inner bluey. <coughs> That's right. Again, podcasters, I'm sure this is solid ASMR. Let me just... What? <laughs> 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 Ooh, I'm laughing so hard with y'all. My contacts have shifted. Oh, damn. Oh, how does that work? I don't know. I am creatively coming up empty. I've got nothing here. I need a topic. Um, dingo babies. Okay. I got yours, Britt. Okay. But I'll wait for tea. I've got nothing. Just, just write what you know I'm going to laugh at anyway. That's what I'm saying. I got nothing. <gasps> Looks like I'm going to win then, isn't it? Oh, okay, Britt, you ready? Sure. Chat, you can't see it. This is in our private chat. But she's going to read this. In an Australian accent. You ready? No, excuse me. It's not what I copied. I'm afraid. <clears throat> Go ahead. It's there. Oh. No laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get to the end without. Okay. 
G'day, you bunch of knob gobblers. Today I decided to wear Simba's pantaloons. And for the first time in my whole life, I feel whole. It's the wrong hole. <laughs> it was. That's what I left at. It's never the wrong I hole. I feel whole. Okay. I can write one for you quick. Okay. Please, because I, I, I'm dry. I've got nothing here. Ew, you're dry. Now that's what happens when you use the wrong hole. Oh my god. <laughs> this is what happens when the stream goes past 10 o'clock. It's immediately FGBG after dark. Only fans coming soon. You wouldn't be dry in Simba's pantaloons. <laughs> moist. God. So moist in there. Jeez. Oh, Her click clacking away. I know. Okay. All right, okay, there I, you go. I'm not going to pre read it, okay? Okay. I'm going to read it fresh. <sighs> okay, ready? <clears throat> Hi there, mate. You ever feel like eating an entire dingo baby after cooking some shrimp on the barbie? <laughs> Pro so first, should I come up with No. <laughs> That's making my dad proud of my theater musical major. Is that what your actual degree's in? Yeah, I major in musical I, theater and my dad in know dance. That. I was I'm not doing. mocking you here. I genuinely did not know what your degree was in. This is what I'm doing with it, you guys. But you can confidently say you are actively utilizing both I degrees. Am. I am. I am. I'm not actively using my degree. I will be soon, but well, I mean, I've been out of college since. When we hire you to be, uh, I dropped out to take on some new tasks for us. I think you'll be using it. Maybe. <laughs> and that's roll to hit everyone. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. Bend at the elbow. Nice. Give yourself a pat. And that's how you Did FGBG. It? Did you have fun tonight, Britt? I had lots of fun. Thank you guys so much for having me. Oh, good. Um, uh, I will now change all of the mean Yelp reviews I left. Um, no, we like those. It's the only traction we're getting on the internet. Literally. Good or bad. No such thing traction. as bad press. Exactly. No such thing. No, we really loved having you on. And like, this is the Don't third speak time. For me. I really loved having you on. Well, thank you. T is too busy finger popping his butt. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Warn me before I take a drink next time. That would have been bad. I can only apologize. I don't know why my brain went there, but it was just a cause of reaction. I don't know what's wrong with today. Brit you, this is what happens. We blame you. We blame the victim yep. in this case. Pretty uh, girl no. gets on the cam. All goes to shit. All goes to shit. You just make us so nervous. Because you're just a good, glorious angel human, and we're trash pandas trying to make content. Well, you're, well, you're in the right place. Because if I'm a trash panda, you're a trash panda. And I'm proud to be one. And so if you want to be a trash panda, head over to Let's Get Rollin' on Twitch or on Instagram. Follow what they're doing because they're doing great things. If you're looking for a safe place to learn TTRPGs or if you need resources to help find a group, you can talk to Brit and she will either point you in the right direction or you can hang out in their chat while you learn how to play. And it's just a safe space. And meanwhile, you can sub to them and donate the, the bit of your, your bits and the money of your sub goes towards really good causes. So that's cool. Super cool organizations. Super cool. Better people yes. than us. And if you guys were hanging out in the chat tonight, thank you so much. All of the pandas from Let's Get Rolling were here, and that's so amazing to have you guys. Thank you. And all of you, FGBG, you little fug buggies, you. No. No. <laughs> it's I don't happen. tell you no to shit, but no, absolutely the fuck not. Snug is a fug in a bug. Nope. I see a shirt with all of that. Absolutely the fuck not. Well, let's talk. I will make it. Okay. You will be finding a new co-host. <laughs> I've got so much leverage here. Oh, 
I need you. I exactly. Need you, Don't leave me. <laughs> but thank you, everybody, for hanging out. Uh, come back next week when we take a quick break from the normal routine schedule and having a guest. And it's just T and I. We just get to chat. And we're going to chat about things we love and we, how much we love each other. We're not going to make fun of each other the entire night. We're just I did not positive, sign up for that. Only positive feel Equal good, love gushy. to roast ratio. Yeah. Exactly. It's my love language. Exactly. Uh, but yeah, we're going to talk about love. And we don't know what quite what it looks like. But we're going to figure it out in the next week. And then what do you do on Wednesday, T? Uh, tentatively speaking, I'll be playing Mortal Right. Um, the game is not being released yet. But because I backed on Kickstarter, I get a play test. And it's supposed to be out on Wednesday. Oh, okay. Supposed to. Oh my god, that'd be amazing! If I don't do that, I don't, I don't fucking know. I'm really banking on getting that Steam key. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys don't quite recall, we interviewed the creators of Mortal Right last year, and it's this amazing game. It's popping up on TikTok. They're doing such cool things. And this is the first one they've ever made before. Like, they just decided, let's make a game that we want to play. Oh, that's so cool. Well, I hope you get that. Me I'm too. Be watching that. And then Thursday is another episode of City of Mist, and it'll next be last week one. there won't be. It'll be the last one for just a couple weeks. We're gonna maybe take a, the two week hiatus, a short hiatus, while we kind of catch up on some things. Because we're not ahead. No, we told always... ourselves in twenty twenty three, like, no, we're gonna stay ahead. We're gonna be proactive. We are proactive, but like we said, like sometimes it's hard to get people around the table. It's not for lack of trying. We're on schedule most times, but life happens. Usually in four different states. Yeah. And do you have to be okay with that if you're playing a TTRPG? Unless you're making gobs of money and it's paying your bills for you. It ain't. So <laughs> deal with it. <laughs> nope. Um, somebody tell us who to raid. Normally we'd take it to let's get rolling, but there's no sense. Let's go, tonight. let's go to Moonlit because she's playing Sims. All right. <gasps> yes. And use all those codes. Uh, oh, I forgot how to do this. I already oh, you it. already did. Good job. Thank you. Thank you for that. Right. Let's get rolling. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, right. Quick. What's our, what's our, what's our raid? You're so good at those. Um, oh, what's our what? Oh, okay. Oh, what's our raid? Okay. We're the three best geeks that anyone could have and use the new emote. Oh, wow. You just... The only the showing show. two. <laughs> but the artist <laughs> is implied because she created it. Yeah. She, it's in the heart of the two. Of the cards. Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay. Um. Here, I'll put it in chat. Uh, thank you. you thank go. you. Thank you. There you go. Well, until next time, you guys, I am Bozer. Oh, I'm T. <laughs> I'm Brent. <laughs> and you just keep geeking, geeking out. out. Bye-bye.